Hello everyone! How are you guys doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on with today's video session. Here we go! Today the information I got. Today I want to show you man. It's gonna blow you away man. So here we go today guys! The time has come today! To show the things that you guys been waiting for. Yeah. Woo. Come on. Come on. Woo. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Damn. Today I'm gonna get you down, man. For the money, Sonic Q Games console, boys! Okay, that should do it. Okay, so today, as I said, is the time where I promised you that I was going to show you the thing. Wow, it's been a such a long time. It's very hard to get hold of these things, man. This man is only new games console, is it? Oh man, it blows my mind away. But it's blipping so hard to get. Sorry to use this kind of language. But today, today, today. All right, stop doing the clapping. Let's get right into the action. So, we guys. Oh, it's been heavy. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this is the system that everyone's bragging about. This is whatever you want to call it. Panasonic U Games Console. Panasonic DVD Game Player. Call it whatever you want. Because in on the box, it's called a... A Panasonic, yeah, look properly. Panasonic, I gotta be careful because there's a model and then it says DVD gameplay. So, this is the Panasonic Games console. Today, it's not a box. No, I've got the system. Yes, I've got the actual machine. Now, the problem with the system again. I got it. I wasn't very impressed with it. I don't know why you get all of these systems in, you know, with problems. Now this system, right, it has a problem with open close. You press the button, the drive doesn't come out. No, it doesn't come out. It's giving problems. Okay, anyway, let's open the box. Take the thing out, yeah. I'm not gonna show you anything out of the box. I'm just gonna quickly just take it out, yeah. First of all, I'm gonna show you all the stuff you get with the system, yeah. Everything that you will get with it, okay. You'll get one of these. This is a Panasonic Q game controller. This is one by far one of the best game controller you can ever buy. It's very expensive, very expensive. They're around about, about 150 pound. 150 pound for this controller, man. This is not cheap. Right, I'll show you properly. The cable's long, man, really long. Okay, it looks like the original Nintendo GameCube controller, you know, with all the bones, yeah, and that D-pad, and the bone. I will go for this controller in another video and explain a bit more. This is just a quick overview of everything, what you get in this package. The D-pad, the C-stick, the analog, the face bones. And the shoulder bones on the top here. Yeah? The 
this is a better version of we call it of the original Nintendo GameCube controller yeah it's a lot better than that one that's the front that's the back yeah there you go it's very good to hold in the hand look at this when you hold this thing it's all it's really good look at this I'll show you look look you got these two long long things on the left and right look at that look one there one there and it's good to hold look at that you can hold it firmly yeah I'm not giving a review on this controller or something but this controller is one of the best control pads you would ever buy for your money can you use this on the PC yes you can use the PC but but if you look at this cable it's pretty long anyway this is for the original Nintendo game here, yeah if you buy a adapter you connect that to your PC, it's plug and play, you don't need any software, and you just put that front of the adapter. That's more poor, just like the GameCube. Same thing. And then you can play this on your PC. I've never tried a Nintendo GameCube or a Panasonic Q game controller on the PC. So I don't know what the experience is like. If you wanted to play uh, Nintendo Dolphin Emulator with, uh, you know, Nintendo GameCube games, I have no idea. What would it be like? Because uh, sometimes when you use the controllers, some games don't work properly with these control pads. Yeah. Maybe the Nintendo GameCube one. Well, it is a Dolphin, it's a GameCube con emulator, so it's going to be pretty good for that. Okay, that's the control pad. This is a very professional looking Panasonic Q. What do you want to call it? A DVD game player. Remote control. Nice, isn't it? Look at it. Beautiful. Okay, that's the remote control. Okay. I'm not going to show you the console right now, but we'll go through that. Look, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to show you what's it like when you put it on, when you compare to the other games console that we own. This console is very incredible when you look at it. Okay? What else you're gonna get with it? You will get this packet. Yeah? It's a manual. You'll get a manual in there, yeah? Oh don't forget, <laughs> don't bother that. That's not the manual. You'll get hold on. You'll get let me get this right. No, I don't think you get any of that. Maybe the person just put it in there. Hold on. Hold on. You won't get any of that. No. You won't get any of that. You'll get... You'll get this leaflet. Out of it. Okay. You'll get this. Leaflet. Okay. That's it. That's done. And then you get... I saw you so, so many times on that. And you get this manual. Yeah, very nice. There you go. That's done. And the next, next part is the cables you get with it. These are the only cables you'll get with the machine. Okay. Right. You will get the AC cord. Yeah. Hold on. It looks like a, a tape recorder lead, doesn't it? Yeah? You get one of these. You'll get one of these. The cable's pretty long, yeah? Carries on, carries on. And the other side, you will connect to your mains, yeah? If you live in Japan or something, you will just connect it straight away. But if you live in the UK, it's something different, okay? I need to explain that. Because if you live in the UK, you are not going to be able to connect it straight away. Alright? So don't don't think of connecting it to the mains 
straight away. So I do not try and do that. Okay, you get these three colors. Yeah, these are the audio, these two are. This is for the video. This will go on your television, this side. And the other side will go into your system. Audio there again, video. It's a CompuSide cable, or CA, whatever you want to call it. In different countries they call it different. I don't really care whatever they call it. It's a CompuSide cable. They are believing it. Okay. Now, to connect to Panasonic Q, right, you should get a step down transformer. Because in Japan, right, they use 100 volts. And 100 volts is the one they use in that country. But in our like countries like UK, they use, I don't know, 2 to 30, something 2 to 20, 2 to 30 volts, maybe in 240 volts. This is a, you need a step down transformer. Do not connect a Panasonic Q in the UK without a step down transformer. You need one of these. All right, one of these. It looks like that from the top. You gotta buy one of these, otherwise you'll kill the system. You'll finish it off. It, it won't work anymore if you try and do that. So get one of these. So what do you do with this, right? I'll explain it. I'll explain it further. You get one of these cables. You need to you need to understand this very carefully. I'm warning you, you can, you know, damage the system. This side, right? For the, for the power, you know, that goes into the mains. That will go into the step down transformer here. It goes in the ladder. Okay. Look it. Yeah. Plug in ladder. That's it. And you just plug in the step down transformer. And you're good to go. Okay. There you go. Now this part will go behind the system. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching, <laughs> guys. Now I'm going to show you the system. Now this system is very, very expensive. All right. If you haven't got the money, do not buy this thing because it's really expensive to buy. I warn you, it's not cheap. These are memory cards you can use. Okay. I got two of them. The other thing about this is right. The uh, about the system is that this system has a region lockout. The region lockout is only for Nintendo GameCube games and DVDs. All right, it's for nothing else. Okay, you know stuff like Nintendo GameCube games, DVD, VCDs. It's a lockout for that, but it's not nothing for not audio CDs. Okay, um, when you buy things like Nintendo game Nintendo accessories from the UK, US, Japanese, you can buy any of them. That includes Nintendo game controllers, uh, arcade sticks, bongos whatever all the accessories yeah they will work just like that you can buy them from any country it doesn't matter okay because there's no region lockouts in accessories it's only on the games and the dvds all right and vcds right this is a system it's whoa it's be heavy this is a system that we're talking about yeah Right, now I'm going to show you properly all the bones on there. Let me get a bit closer. Take a look at all the bones on there, yeah? It's all there. Right. 
Roy. This is the LCD display which lights up. It gives you data information like right GameCube and DVD forward slash CD. It writes down there whatever mode you select and it comes on there. I will show you, don't worry. And on top of that, look at that. There's bonds. Yeah? You know all the bonds on DVDs. Played one bonds, they're all on there. This is a very unique thing, don't it? You don't normally have that in consoles, you have the bonds. Yeah, you don't have stuff like that. This is very different. And on the top, you can handle one here and one over here. Look. You can carry it like that. Show you a look. Check this out. Look. Yeah. Scandals. Really good. What else we got at the front? That's the DVD tray, which always gives the problem that never comes out. Biggest problem of the system. Right? And these are all the buttons on here and the bottom on this side and you know these circles the controller ports these circles right will show you blue LED light mmm blue LED light it does that and this memory card's not Look. now you can pull a memory card in there. Okay. Yeah. On there. And the other one here. Here you go. Memory cards. Yeah. And this is the other side. It's pretty heavy, I swear. That's the one side of the side panel. And on this side, there's a fan with an air vent where you can see on the side. Yeah, there you go. You see, okay, hold it, hold up. Okay. Air vent. It's a fan there. Yeah. And this is the back. The back's got quite a lot of stuff. That is the for audio. There's one at the top. There's one at the bottom. There's a subwoofer port. That's S video. If you can see clearly, that's the yellow one for the same cable what I showed you before. The three colors. Yeah. Is these okay? The two colors go on the top. The yellow one goes on the bottom, yeah, in the middle. To display on the screen and all that. And this. It's DTS. Wait, kidding me. Everything's on this machine, man. Awesome. And this is the original Nintendo GameCube Dish 2. Heavy out. And this. And this is for the power cord. Yeah, I'll show you clearly again. Watch properly. There you go. Look at all the boards. Amazing system, isn't it? There you go. So now you've seen all of it, the system. Now, how do you connect this thing? Yeah, obviously, I'm going to show you the way you connect it in the UK. It's just the same in every country. All you just need a step down transformer if you don't live in Japan. That's, that's the only difference, okay? So don't get puzzled. Now, the cable you get with it, right? Is this one right Hold on. Right, these three colors, yeah? So what do you do with them? 
you know the red one and the white these two yeah you'll connect these you go for these colors yeah One there, one there, one there. Yeah, do you see that? Goes in there, right at the top. That's it. That's it connected. Now, this yellow one goes here. First one, do you up here? Yeah, you'll go here. Yeah, let me just put it in. There you go. You connect it like that. So understand very clearly. Oh, oops. These two colors at the top, the yellow one down here. That's it. You're good to go now, yeah? Now, the other thing I was explaining previously, that's step down, transfer one, that's different. If you don't live, if you if you live in Japan, all of those international countries, you probably don't need it. Okay, you probably don't need it. Okay. Because in Japan, they use 100 volt. Because if your country doesn't use 100 volt, you cannot connect this directly to your mains yeah do not do that if you live in a different country you'll definitely need one of these all right there's different outputs in all countries so what you do there if you don't live in japan you need one of these step down transformers you need to find out what what's yours so what you do from there you when you look for it on the internet you'll write like if i'm from the UK, I'll write Japan to UK step down transformer. That's it. You search for that. If you live in another country, just put your country there. there. Alright. So the AC code thing here, yeah, the main thing goes in a step down transformer. And you know this lead thing, this one will go behind the system. All right, you gotta understand this very carefully because you don't wanna damage the thing, yeah? It, it costs a lot of money. You put it in here, hold on. It goes in here, yeah? Hold on, let me just put it in for you. That's it. It goes in there, yeah? the lead now it's for time for some music because yeah the time has come all right i think it's turned on something all right anyway now i'm going to show you i'm going to put it on yeah right First of all, let's understand this part as well. Okay, we connected these three on this side. On the other side of the cable, there's three more colors, aren't they? This will go behind your television, yeah? Side of your television. This will go on the side of your television, and that's it. Wherever the input on your TV is, usually it's AV3. You just select AV3 video media mode and it should um, come on display like that yeah sometimes there's a different way of doing this like you know if you you got like a a scot behind your television imagine you did have a scot behind your television then you put this in one of them scot adapters and then you connect that scot to your television yeah so that, that's that's the way around it right 
obviously i'm not gonna connect it to television in this video all i'm just gonna do i'm gonna just put it on i'm just gonna power it up yeah I hope I can reach it this far because my mains is pretty far from where I'm sitting. Okay. Right. So just hold on a bit. I'm gonna just connect it for you. Let's connect to that chip and transformer, yeah? To your mains. Right. Okay. Obviously, this, some of the one's come with a remote so you can use a remote for watching your DVDs or whatever okay once you put it in right let's just take this memory cards out once you put it up the step down turns to your mains this light will come on can you see that? look the lights shrink up on there that will come up now watch this what's gonna happen now it's a bit tricky to do this holding your one hand with the remote control yeah you can just press the power switch watch this see that see that it came on Look. He makes his noise when he goes in GameCube mode, by the way. So there you go. And you say GameCube on there? When you want to go on DVD, you press the DVD one here. Okay, it's on the remote. What's this? Then that's then the fan will stop. It's weird though. It does that. See that? It's not switched off. It's just going to DVD mode. See that? It does that. It comes on like that. Wicked stuff in it. Yeah. So there you go. That's the experience of this machine. Now you know what's it all about. Problem with this system again, right? When I when I press this, right, look. The open close. The drive doesn't come out, look. See that? It doesn't come out. See that? Then go back inside. See that? You won't just come out. If I want to take it out, I will put a screwdriver in there and then pull it out with my hands. It does that. It's got a problem like that. Yeah? It does stuff like that. So it looks really, really cool. The system does. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video session today. And it's short. Sure I've showed you everything from the Panasonic key with all the accessories and the cables that you get with it inside the box and including the manual and the leaflet as well so and, and the front the sides the back and it's got an LCD display and the four controller port 
uh, brings up the lights. It's a really, really amazing light, fantastic experience, isn't it? Really, yeah. Uh, there's one thing probably I have to show you. Hold on. Okay, let me just put it back on GameCube mode. It's not bad. It's something else. Time it doesn't even go to the game keyboard very well. How many does that? I don't know why it does that actually? Yeah, it's not even going to the game keyboard. So on. The damn thing doesn't mean go into the GameCube more now. Oh no, my. So. The other thing is that. Some of these systems have this missing. Yeah? Look this very carefully here. Yeah. This part. Sometimes these flaps are missing. But this one is good. It's got all the flaps. So that's good to go, isn't it? Really good. That's a bomb sort of thing. So there you have it. On the Panasonic Q. Panasonic game controller. Panasonic remote control. Cables. Manual. Whatever. I've showed you everything what you will get inside the box. Uh, from the LCD display, the four control ports, the blue LED lights. It's just fantastic looking experience. And the side panels, the bottom part, the top, everything's there for you, yeah? And the back. A lot of ports at the back, man. You're not going to get that many ports. <laughs> from any system. I mean, every system that, from all the way back from 1990s, man. I've never seen that many ports. No way. No, in 2021. I mean, all the systems that have been produced from 1990. To 2021, you ain't gonna see nothing like this. No way. I ever say this every time my videos. Nintendo GameCube owns the be best Nintendo game exclusives. Yeah, it does. You know, it's got the most majority Nintendo game exclusives that you will never find on any other platform. That's the one big thing about Nintendo GameCube, isn't it? Because, I mean, every system that produced after Nintendo GameCube, they were lacking in Nintendo game exclusives. They hardly didn't even come back. Well, some of them came back, but very limited, but most majority didn't even, them didn't even come back. You know what? Nintendo GameCube has every single Nintendo game exclusive. They're all on there, man. It's got the most majority. If you're looking for something like that, you're only going to get it on this. You might as well just get a Panasonic Q. Uh, games console. What's the advantage? What's the advantage, right, of buying a Panasonic Q games console? Why would you buy one? I would Pacific say Panasonic. Panasonic manufactured this system, yeah. But is that the only good thing about this system? No. Panasonic gave you so many features from front to back, right? And amount of CD, DVD media this thing plays is amazing. 
and then top of that adding Nintendo gaming in there which is a Nintendo GameCube game right Nintendo GameCube is you know it's one of the best games console ever made I think in my opinion it is because like because Nintendo game exclusives are only on this really the most majority of them anyway yeah I'm not saying they didn't come on the other Nintendo platforms they did but that's very limited on there you'll just get bored of them systems really quickly but this one has a lot of games man a lot of lots of them a lot of them so there you have it I hope you guys like my video today give me likes comment subscribe Thanks for watching. Bye for now.